For this makeup, you'll need a mold, a silicon such as Platzil Gel 10, Dedna, silicon pigments. I have yellow, brown, white, and flesh, disposable cups, tongue depressors, non latex gloves, a metal filling blade or something to scrape with, cotton tips, q tips, whatever you call them, and a digital scale. So first of all you want to put something on the mold which will help it to release. You can use a release spray. I'm just using Vaseline here because it's the easiest thing. So you put a layer of Vaseline over the top, leave it to soak for a couple of minutes and then you're going to get a tissue and wipe away um, a lot of the excess Vaseline. Um, so the silicon needs to be encapsulated in a ball cap plastic I and mean, there's several different kinds but my favourite kind to use is Mold Life Super Baldies because it is thinned with and blended out with 99% isopropyl alcohol which I find to be um, better to use on skin than acetone because it's a little bit less irritating um, and just I have a lot of isopropyl alcohol so it's easy. So um, my way of applying it for this um, is I diluted it with isopropyl alcohol, um, about 50% 50, 50 of each, 50-50, and I'm going to use a brush and I'm going to brush it over um, the entire mould, leave it to dry. I'm going to do that for three times so I have three layers of the Super Baldies. I'm going to start by filling these two trenches here, um, where the exposed larynx will be, with a tiny bit of silicon with white pigment. I'm not going to add any deadener in this one because I want it to be like firmer and ha or harder than the rest of the silicon that's put in. So I'm going to use Patsil Gel 10. I'm going to start with side A and I'm going to get my plastic cup. I'm just going to get like a scoop like this for these ones because you don't really need that much. and do the same thing. I'm gonna get my silicon pigment and put a drop of white. mix these together. I'm going to try and be as careful as I can to put it in the ridges but you know because it's liquid it'll probably leak out and that's where these come in handy to clean up. That's pretty clean. You see it's already leaked to the deeper part here. So I'm going to clean it up now and I'll probably need to clean it up a few more times over the next 10 minutes. Um, and to help it set up faster, I'm going to put it under a heater because it's winter here so it's a bit cold. So I'm going to clean this up now, put it under a heater and keep an eye on it and keep just kind of cleaning up this section here as well as this top section here. He's going to want to press it all the way against the bottom here because you don't want any of it on that lower line. It all has to be inside here. And again, I'm going to start with Platzel Gel 10A. Platzel Gel 10B with a fresh tongue decompressor. I'm going to use a deadener. 
to do Ooh, about the same amount for this, maybe a little bit more. Because that's a small amount, it's kind of a rough ball in it. Is that a thing? Rough ball? I don't know. I'm going to use it. It's going to be a thing. Alright, now I'm going to add a little bit of skin color. Put a drop of white in. Very small amounts of um, brown and yellow, so I'm gonna first put it onto you. Um, first put it onto you, like a tile or a palette or something. Whoop! <laughs> brown. Just like that everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna dip it in. Just get a very small amount of yellow in there. Can do a bit more yellow. Um, and because the silicon pigments are so pigmented, it is, it's kind of easy to put too much in, so I try really hard just to put a little bit in at a time. So you don't ruin the whole batch. Color looks pretty good. I'm going to use this to place um, the fatty tissue color on the top here, which will be the fatty tissue in the piece. And then again, I'm going to clean it up so that it doesn't, um, like, it doesn't, kind of, what's the word? <laughs> Forgotten my words, but I don't want it to like go over the edge to where the skin color is going to be. So I'm going to be careful to monitor it as well for the next ten minutes and clean it up if it goes over the edge. I'm going to place this one under the heater to help speed up the cure. So I will give you this information just in case you don't, you're don't not aware of it already. Um, so silicon works, it's like a chemical reaction. Silicon um, has two parts, part A and part B, and when you mix them together they cure. So when you're using silicon you want to make sure that they don't ever touch or meet. So you're going to wear gloves to protect your hands from it. If you get silicon on your hands, it's like just a total disaster trying to get it off. Um, so you're going to use like a different wooden stick to put silicon part A into the cup and then a fresh clean one to put silicon part B into the cup so they don't cross-contaminate each other. I'm going to put about 20 grams of um, part A and 20 grams of part B because you um, you do, you know, equal amounts of, of both um, by weight and by weight or by volume because they weigh the same. And then I'm going to put, so deadener is where um, it can be adjusted depending on how soft you want it, the mixture to be. And so for this neck one, I'm going to put, um, I've done, so it's about 40 grams total of the, of the silicon. So I'm going to put about 40 grams as well of the deadener in there. So it's about 200%, 200% um, deadener. And afterwards that's put in, I'm going to put in some of my, um, flesh toned silicon pigment and you want to make sure that you have enough so that um, it's not too translucent um, because skin naturally is translucent you can see the veins through the thinner parts but it's not so translucent that you can see everything so you've got to try and adjust the amount of pigment that you put in so it looks the most realistic 
Okay, and then to pour it into the molds, it's um you you want to have enough so that you can like scrape scrape off a, a clean line. So you're gonna overload the molds, um, and so I find that the the 80 grams or so that we made is a, a really good amount for both of these. So you're gonna overload the molds, and you're gonna use like a flat edged utensil. So I find these flexible metal filling knives like really good. They I got them from Bunnings, but from a hardware store they're pretty cheap. I think some was two dollars. Um, and you're gonna go over it in one direction. So you wanna press like firmly but not firm enough that it's gonna like rip off the cat plastic you've already put down. So you're gonna scrape off, um, you're gonna scrape off in one direction and then I usually wipe it and do a second direction just to make sure that um, there is this really nice uh, like gradient, a really nice thin edge around the silicon. Um, that's just ball cap plastic because that's what's gonna be blended out and that's what's gonna have the best you know, edges. Um, and so once this is cured, it takes about half an hour. Sometimes they put it underneath the heater because um, it will help it cure faster. Um, you're going to use baby powder and you're going to baby powder the back of it. And I'm going to use a soft brush and baby powder to gently pull the mold, um, to gently pull the silicon piece out of the mold.